Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we are doing something a little bit different. We're doing off the mat, so that's not crazy. Done that a bazillion times, right? But this file was a little bit different, and so I'm not sure how I feel about it, but we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. I'll talk about it along the way. Um, all right, so just like all the other off the mat, here is our background. But this one's a little bit different. None of this black is actually going to show through. So I always say that before, you know, like some of it will show through. So let's flip it over. I still think it's a good idea to flip over and tape from behind because, and let me do this before I lose my train of thought and mess up. Okay. <laughs> so here it is from behind. And the reason is because everything's going to be sitting on top of it. So I would prefer to glue cardstock to cardstock as opposed to cardstock to on top of scotch tape. So that's why I, I you know, I, I still flipped it over. So can you tell from this figure what it is? It's Halloween ish. Um, kind of like spooky, scary-ish. And I have a few dun, 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 Snow White stuff. So I'm excited to do this one. So this is going to be half Sugar Skull, half Snow White. And um, I'm hoping in my head and what I saw was so pretty. I just don't know if I picked all the right colors and the design was a little bit different. So... I'll talk you through the design a little bit as to why it's different. So the first thing is usually I have a black outline, right? So this black is not only my background piece, but it is usually the outline. In this case, there was no specific background. Um, it had multiple pieces, but nothing connected the whole thing together. So I still opted to do this so that I can have something sitting on top of, you know, all my cardstock can sit on top of something. And I felt like, I feel like that's always a good idea so that your pieces aren't moving and it's easier to, you know, get it down and going. Uh, but we'll see. Okay. So in this case, like I said, none of this black is going to be showing. So I still, you know, I still think it's a good idea as a best practice to always kind of, you know, minimize your seams because you still want everything to line up perfectly. All right, so I'm going to flip this over now. Do you see? It's Snow White. Okay. So here is the outline for her hair. And everything should be perfectly aligned. So I'm tempted to kind of like tape and glue down as we go along. The other thing with Snow White is if you remember from my original Snow White, and you see like the pieces are too big, but when you put it together like this, you're not even going to see that seam anymore. So this is a glitter, um, glitter silver. I don't know. It's gorgeous though. And th this does not come in 12 by 12 cardstock. So I cheated on this one. I used some 12 by 24 cardstock. So I don't want you to think that I didn't. However, um mainly due to like the papers that i wanted to use so i know a little cheating here and there but still it's big so you can see like look it there's the seam right and there's the seam no seam <laughs> all right so on this one let's start gluing things down because we know exactly where it goes and i'm gonna take my barely art glue oops okay and sorry, I haven't been cleaning my glue that well, my little glue stick. Okay. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna turn this around and I'm just gonna glue it down. I know, so if you, I mean, already we're doing it differently, right? Because 
on my other pieces, the things, the pieces don't necessarily have to go anywhere. And so I always recommend lining everything up exactly where you want it before you glue down. But in this case, there is no background. All the pieces kind of go where they're supposed to. So uh, I know it makes me nervous, but um, All right, so I'm gonna do this side first because we wanna make sure that these two line up. And that way, if I mess up, I can line this piece to this piece. If I do this piece first and it doesn't line up, one side's gonna have possibly have a gap, right? So that's why we wanna do this side. All right, so let me move this over. And this paper is thick enough and this piece is so long that I'm only gonna do a portion of it. I'm only gonna glue a portion of it and then I'll just continue to lift up and glue down. Okay. So I'm gonna turn it around. And I don't want to lift up before it's ready and move it at all, but. Okay, then on this one, I'm just going to go along the edge. This silver is from Joann's open cardstock section. It's the 12 by 24 cardstock section and I absolutely am in love with it. It's beautiful. And you know, that section will go on sale 40 to 70% off. Unfortunately, I only got this at 40% off. So I only got a few sheets but the next time it goes crazy sale, I am getting more. It is so beautiful. All right, here we go. All right, let's put this piece down. The other exciting thing is, so you know, I, I get so many questions about the skin color, and a couple years ago, Michaels sold this blush pad, right? The 19 by, I mean, 19 by 19, the 12 by 12 pad of like 48 sheets. They sell it normally for $19.99. That's where I was going with the $19.99. Um, but the blush, the pads will go on sale between four to five dollars. And when it did, I bought a ton of the blush pads. So that's what I've been using for the skin color. Apparently they're not selling it anymore. So I found a replacement. It's basil paper. So it's from 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, and it's pale rose. So I know it sounds crazy because it has like a very pink tone to it, but it is perfect. So see, there it is. I love it. You need to have a little bit of pink, otherwise she looks so pale and ghostly. So I've made that mistake before. This paper is thick too, so I like that it's not so delicate. All right, let's continue with the hair. So here is the black hair. And see how each piece fits in, oh sorry, 
it fits in exactly where it's supposed to. So there's really no like give, right? It fits in perfectly. The red's gonna fit in perfectly. So that's why we're gluing as we go along. So on this one, I'm gonna flip it over and I like this tip from Barely Art because it's the fine precision tip and you can see not a lot comes out. And so it comes out just enough to glue it down. And the reason why I like that is because when you put just enough glue down, it doesn't warp the paper. Well, first of all, I'm not using super thin paper to begin with. Um, so that is one key, but also it's just enough glue that if I press down, it's gonna stick, it's gonna dry, and it's not gonna warp. So that's really important to me. All right, here goes the red pieces. And again, the red is gonna fall right. Oh wait, no, there's a border. There's a little, here we go. It's a little brown border. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about. All the pieces kind of fit in like that, right? And then my two red pieces go in like that. So they, you know, it all is like a puzzle on this one, a little bit different than what we normally do, right? All right, so I'm gonna flip this over. Same thing with this. I'm going to just put the glue down. So sometimes, you know, this is easier in some ways because everything has a place, but I'm still worried about the aftermath <laughs> when things don't line up for some reason. All right. So here's the red. Oops. Now I'm still a big fan of kind of like on the bigger pieces, putting something heavy down so that it glues straight um, as it's drying. And I also chose a black background because I felt that it would be, um, if there was a little like thin sliver coming through, that it would be less distracting with it being black than it would be if it was like a big white piece. Let me see, I want something thicker. Okay, so that's gonna go down. Here are our two red pieces, right? Yep, okay. Same thing over here. So cute. Okay, where, okay, here's my little piece in the middle. I'm trying to find the, per it's not a perfect circle, so I want it to fit properly. Where is this piece? Like that, okay. That's down. All right, the next piece, okay, is now the face. So the face does fit. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's not. 
like, wait a minute, that doesn't work. Um, there we go. So this is going to go in over here like this. This piece, this piece right here didn't fit perfectly, but we're going to make it fit. So it's going to pop up a little bit like that. See, this side fits better. And you know what? My thing didn't cut that well, so I'm just going to make sure that all this stuff is off. Okay. You know what I have that's really good for that? This, this little mini vacuum. Okay. So this little piece of hair is not gonna fit perfectly, but good thing it's in black, so it's okay. We're just gonna put it down as best as we can over here, like this. All right, so that the rest fit <laughs> so it doesn't all fit good I almost want to cut it right there just so it doesn't pop up all right so that's going down. Let's do this side. Same thing with this side. Hopefully this side fit. Yeah, this one just went in. Okay. So same thing with this side. Let's get it down. Let's hope that this fits in perfectly. It doesn't. Oh, because I'm still missing a piece. I'm missing the porter. Okay, hold on. Ah, okay, here we go. That's what we're missing. That side and Oh, here's my other piece. This side. Okay, so we're gonna put these two pieces down. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, this silver, I'm in love with it. Um, I don't remember how much it was, but still worth it. <laughs> I'm just going to put that down for now just to keep it going so we can go on this side. The difference between this and like just a regular ah silver glitter is the the glitter pieces are chunky. They're really big and beautiful. 
Okay. And put it down there for now. Okay. Now this piece will go in. Yep. Now it fits better. It's still slightly off everywhere a little bit, but good thing we did the black, right? Okay, so here's this side. And then I can't remember how this side goes. This side. So it's gonna be like this. It's going to be so pretty. Okay, so let's put the face down because we know the face is correct. I want to hold that tip down. I want it to really go in. Okay. We'll work on this side first and then we'll work on that side afterwards. So let's get her eyes in. So you see how all the pieces are, they fill up all the space. So there is no black coming through, only where I made mistakes. <laughs> so I'm so glad I went with the black because at first I'm like, well, do I do like a white? So glad I did the black. sure how this goes oh there's still okay wait, hold on so we should put the eyelash in first because that actually has a place so I'm gonna pull this apart for a second let's get the eyes in the wrong eye that's right there okay oh my gosh look at that it's so pretty okay um then we have all these pieces. So let's see where these go. OK, 
Okay, so that fits in perfectly. So I'm going to run this right here. Okay, then it's the white. So pretty. I'm. I can't. Can't decide if I like it piece by piece like this as opposed to ones that we normally do, which is, it would have been like, a big piece of black, and then we would have. I don't know. It would have been more sizing it up and like making sure that it is, in the right place, like. It would have still been up to us to judge, so I can't decide if this is easier or not. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. All right, and then here's her eye. And see, there's even this piece here. So there's no black from the background showing, you see? So let's put this piece in. And I actually have these little brown pieces. I'm just not sure of all the pieces, so we'll put those in at the end. But there is like two little specks of brown that need to go there. So that's her eyes right there. Let's see, her lips, we do have pieces. There's that. Then the red. And then it goes like this. So this piece I'm gonna put last because I wanna make sure that the other pieces line up over here, but we can put down the lips. So let's put down the lips. Let me clean this real quick. Um, So the lip, the outline of the lip is down. Then I do this red. All right, so we're halfway done. 
we're going to put together the other piece in the next video. I will see you on that next one. I hope you're following along. Get all the paper because look at how beautiful this looks. I will see you in a little bit.